Hello there friends and strangers and welcome to my October favourites. I can't believe we are at the end of October and we are nearly at the end of 2016. This is my 10th favourites video, can you believe it? What the heck am I going to do next year? Anyway, without further ado, let's start talking about my favourite things this month. Starting with this. What the hell is this? This has changed my life. Now, we're officially in autumn, the days are getting colder and darker and wetter, and as a result, my house has been taken over by spiders. Now, I don't like spiders very much, but I don't particularly like killing them either, especially because that involves going anywhere near them. The other day, I found a huge, and I mean huge, spider in my bedroom. And after screaming at my boyfriend to catch it for me, he decided that enough was enough and he went onto Amazon and purchased this. You've probably seen this advertised on the internet. This is a spider catcher. The idea being that you trap the spider in the bristles like this, and then you can take this outside and release the spider safely. And this has completely changed how I react when I see a spider. If anything, I'm quite excited because I love trying this out. With this, I can easily reach the ceiling to catch the spiders that are in the corners without having to stand on any furniture. And it also means that I don't have to go anywhere near the spider, which suits me just fine. And of course, I like the fact that it doesn't hurt the spider. Every spider that I've caught in this so far has been safely released without any lasting damage. If you don't like spiders like me, you need this in your life. Moving on, let's talk about makeup, and I only have one thing to talk about today, and that is this lipstick. This is the Boots Natural Collection Moisture Shine Lipstick in the shade Hazelnut. And as you can see, it is this gorgeous brown. And I've been wearing this lipstick a lot this month. It's slightly bolder than red or purple, but it's not quite as scary as wearing black lipstick. I love how warm this colour is. And whenever I've worn it, I've received several compliments. But yeah, if you've never worn a brown lipstick before, I thoroughly recommend this one. It's long lasting, it's hydrating on your lips, and best of all, it only costs like $1.99. Cheap products at work, yes! Okay, next let's talk about games. Now, Pokemon Sun and Moon comes out at the end of November, but I'm impatient. I want to play it now! So in the meantime, to distract myself and to pass the time, I've been replaying Pokemon Diamond. My next favourite item this month is my new phone. This is the Motorola G4 Play, and it's a great phone. It's nowhere near the price of a Samsung or Apple phone, but in my opinion, it's just as good. But the best thing about this phone is, I can play Pokemon Go! You guys might remember my video from a couple of months ago in which I told you that my old phone couldn't play Pokemon Go and I was absolutely heartbroken about it. Well now I can play it! Yes! Although it's typical because I swear everyone else has stopped playing it by now. Also it's cold and I don't really feel like walking outside. But I don't care, I'm going to become a Pokemon Master and catch them all. Also for those of you who were wondering, I joined Team Mystic. Did I buy a new phone just to play Pokemon Go? Yes! Another game that I've been playing lately is a game called Neko Atsume. Neko Atsume stands for Kitty Collector. And this game is really simple and straightforward and yet it's so addictive. Basically, you have a back garden and the idea is that you collect different objects that you place in your garden in order to attract cats. If the cats like your back garden, they then leave you fish which you can use to buy other things to put in your garden and therefore attract more cats. And I know what you're thinking, Katie, aren't you a dog person? I mean, I'm wearing a dog on my jumper right now. But the truth is, they didn't have a dog version of the game, so I had to settle for the cat one. Okay guys, that's all for this month. Let me know down in the comments below what your favourite things were. Not that anyone ever does, but hey, there's a first time for everything. Did I just make you feel guilty? Good. Wanna feel better? Let me know your favourite stuff down in the comments below. Simple. Take care friends and strangers, and I will see you next time. Which will be the beginning of November, which means I'll be taking part in NaNoWriMo. I'm slightly freaking out right now. See you next time. Bye!